everyone, so I wanted to come on here today to chat to you a little bit about some products from The Ordinary and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little haul of some stuff that I've bought and then I'm also going to talk to you about, kind of give you like mini reviews and just an update basically on the products that I have purchased previously um, and how I found them. I have done I think maybe two of these before um, so I'll link those down below if you want to see me talking about them but I think that my experience with The Ordinary has been interesting. I haven't found anything that I've been blown away and obsessed with. And what tends to happen with these products, I've noticed, is my first impression and initial reaction is that I really like them. And then as it goes on, I then don't think that they perform as well as I would expect them to, considering how um, potent the ingredients are, supposedly. So I, I'm kind of... I, I'm on the fence with The Ordinary. I'm not sure that everything works amazingly well for me like it does for some people. Having said that, sorry I have got a lipstick swatch on here, it was a liquid lipstick and I just did it when I was filming a video earlier and I haven't gone to get it off because I'd have to do it with oil and that because it's a, not going to come off because it's long wearing. Um, but I also do definitely think that, you know, don't let this put you off because they're very affordable, which is amazing. And I definitely do think that I've got the type of skin that is obviously kind of very hardy and doesn't tend to... Sorry, I'm just giving myself a bit of a zhuzh. Um, very, very hardy and doesn't tend to react to things particularly quickly. I need to sneeze. Hold on. Do I? <coughs> Um, yeah, I, I do think that that's something that you need to bear in mind. So, shall we do the whole bit first? No, let's, shall we? Shall not we? Let's do the whole bit first. Okay, so I picked up this, which is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is basically a high advanced blurring surface smoother and primer. This is nice. Um, I don't think it does a tremendous amount for your pores. That's something to bear in mind. And my pores, the bane of my life, I hate them. Like here, they're so noticeable and it drives me mental. Um, but it works as a nice base under your... Um, onto your foundation it doesn't feel particularly greasy in the way that like some silicone primers do so if you don't like the feeling of say the smashbox primer i don't mind that um this feels more like the benefit professional maybe a little bit more emollient as opposed to slippery if that makes any sense but Again, I've only I've only had it for like a week or so, so I have been playing around with it. My first impressions are it's it's nice. Um, I haven't noticed any like outstanding longevity properties. Then this is the um, and I'm I'm never sure if we're supposed to say salicylic or silicic or silicic acid. To me, it looks like it's a salicylic, but whatever. Um, two percent for blemish-prone skin. I don't particularly have blemishes, but what I do have is I do get blackheads on my nose, I get blocked pores on my chin, and I do get like little spots kind of on my um, jaw area sometimes. Not like proper ones or anything, but just a little bit. So I bought this to try and combat that, and I actually do think it's worked quite well. The ones on my cheeks have gone after a couple of uses, so I do think that's something to. Um, Bear in mind if you do have quite blemish prone skin. I thought it worked quite well, but again, I'll report back when I've used it a bit more. And then I picked up, oh, I dropped one of them, wait. It's okay, it only fell down the side of my chair. Um, this is the Vitamin C Suspension 30% in silicone. I hated the first Vitamin C product I tried from them. This is supposed to have a nicer texture. Um, and so far so good. I do, however, think that it stinks. Vitamin C is one of those things that has a really horrible smell. It smells like burning skin. I just, it's not nice. Um, and when you wake up in the morning after you've applied it at night, like, you can smell it on your skin. It's, it's a bit horrible. But they say that this t um, visibly targets uneven tone and signs of ageing. So we'll see, because I definitely have a lot of uneven tone. Um, and this is the, oh, I don't even know how you say this, Geranactive? Geranactive? I don't know. Retinoid, 5% in squalane. Um... This is supposed to be one of their more potent um, retinols and it has a really, really like, cult volume on it. A lot of people are really into it. It's nice. It has caused me a little bit of dryness. It's in an oil form, which is a nice way to apply retinol. Um, this again says that it visibly targets textural irregularities and signs of ageing. Definitely have a lot of textural irregularities as well, so we'll see. But um, I'm quite enjoying those two so far, but it's still early days. 
Then the things I ordered last time, I can't remember in which order this was because I have got quite a few bits here, but I've got the Ordinary Glycolic 7% Toning Solution. This I do really like. Um, it's not a massively like high potency, it's 7%. It's nice, I like the application, I like that you put it up with a nozzle, I don't like it more than other ones I've tried and I don't find that it's done a tremendous amount for my skin. I don't think, do they tell you what it visibly targets? It's always out of stock this as well so I don't know but I, I like it, I just don't think it's kind of been oh my god changed my life type of product like some people have experienced. The same goes with this actually, this is the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This is supposed to be amazing if you have very oily skin, it's supposed to help um, regulate the, the um, oil production in your skin and just kind of really help make your skin less oily. I've pretty much used this whole thing up. It didn't really do anything for me, like not really anything. Um, I know a lot of people really love this and I do consider myself to have very very oily skin so I don't know what that was but like I said I just I feel like my skin's really thick and resistant to things it just doesn't wanna I don't know um but yeah I didn't really think that did much so that's that um then what else do we have this in my previous video I think maybe I said that I didn't like it when I first tried it I left it on for 10 minutes and that was too much and it caused a lot of dryness and this is the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution um if you leave it on for like three minutes tops I find on my skin works really really nicely just evens everything out makes everything look really clear gets rid of any dead skin and great to use before face masks as well Phone about ringing. that rude interruption. I always put my phone on silent and put it away, and then but I was waiting for an important phone call. Not that it's interesting to you, anyway. But what were we talking about? Um, so I talked about the nice cinema. I talked about the peeling solution. Um, then the other things I had ordered the uh, um, Alpha Arbutane two percent a two percent HA. Um, and this is supposed to. Does it say on here? It's supposed to help with pigmentation, anyway. I'm on the fence about whether or not this does, yeah, I am still using it, I do think it definitely has helped the pigmentation in the middle of my face, but that was a bit weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that amused me so much, I'm so stupid. Um, yeah, it is something that a lot of people have had a lot of success with and I do definitely think that it has helped with the pigmentation I had on my cheeks, however I have got some new pigmentation that has developed and I'm not quite sure why here which is great, it'll be a combination of using all those things, even though I always use sunscreen, but um, I'm on the fence about this. I am still using it, but I'm on the fence. And then I've also got the um, retinoid, the advanced 2% retinoid, which again, I like, it's nice. Um, I do think the application of the one, um, the 5% in the squalane is a nicer application. So that's something to bear in mind. Because that is something I've noticed a lot with The Ordinary actually is the applications of a lot of these products are kind of very joyless. And I know that's the point because they're sciency and all of that kind of thing. I get it. I, I understand. But it's still just, I don't know. I'd like there to be a nicer process if that's if I can, if that makes sense, but um, yeah, that's everything pretty much, I, I do have like the azelaic acid and the lactic, lactic acid, but I talked about those already before in the previous videos, which I'll link down below, um, and for those of you who are unsure where you can buy The Ordinary, you can buy it on ASOS now, not the full range, um, Victoria Health is the best place I've found, very, very quick delivery and free delivery over £25 as well, so not too bad but yeah let me know your thoughts on everything down below what have you tried have you been wowed am i wrong about the nice cinemoid have you had great results of it and um any other info as well that you've got to share with me i need to go get this lipstick off it's going everywhere um so yeah 